All right, so um, looking at an ad account here where uh, there's been a consistent uh, actual CAC above the cost cap. This is one of those things that people are really frustrated by. They run cost caps. You're supposed to get the CAC that you want, and it's just not working quite correctly. So you've got a $70 uh, CAC here against a $60 cost cap uh, in the ad account. Um, there's some details here that are a little bit hard to suss out, but last month, the, the cap was changing a bunch in the previous month. So this $77 for the previous month maybe makes a little more sense at points in the month that the cap was actually set a little bit higher. Uh, but if you look at this month, the same thing, you know, last couple of weeks, basically, um, you see, you know, really for most of this time, that cap, that number is $74. For most of that time, we can just check the bid was, you know, around $60 at different times. Uh, at times it was 65, a little higher than that, uh, as you can see. So, um, so, you know, it had a little bit more room, uh, earlier on and, uh, and, but earlier in the month, you know, you got $57, you can see the caps here between 60 and 65 over that time as well. So it was working much better then. So, um, but you know, for the last couple of weeks, at least it, it's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's really frustrating when this happens. So the first thing I'll, I'll note here is that for this brand, there is no weird, uh, overspend day. There's no single day throwing this off. I've gone and looked day by day. I won't make you walk through it, but it's not like it's like, oh, it's spending $2,000 a day, but then uh, one day it spent eight and it was a really bad 8,000 that throws off the average. There's nothing like that going on here. It's just sort of consistently missing. And so what's going on? And this is really frustrating when this happens. I totally understand. It makes people very frustrated with the tool. It's not missing by like an insane amount, but it's missing by, you know, 25% here on, on the CAC target. So it's, it's a big deal. And, um, and, and so what do you do? Well, um, I think there's possibly two things going on. One of them is that for some reason, the, the, the basic probabilistic forecasting that is driving cost caps as a tool is not working correctly. Uh, some data input, when you say like not working correctly, it's just important to note, it doesn't mean that something is like broken, like the tool broke, somebody broke it. I think uh, the much more likely explanation is that some data is, it has been fed is throwing off the forecast. And so um, that's one possibility for what's going on here, sort of in a general sense, the data is doing that. Um, but I'll tell you what I think is probably more likely going on here. And that is that this ad set is actually a DPA ad set, a DAVA ad set. So it's a huge bunch of products all mixed in. And if we go to the last 30 days, what you'll see is that there's a really wide breakdown of products. Um, so if we go to, whoops, uh, delivery product ID, there we go. What you'll see is that over that time period, the highest spending product is actually only at $4,400. So, um, so one product is getting, you know, what, a little over 5% of the spend or something like that. Um, and then down from there, right? And if you and if you actually look at these, like last seven, it's these products here that are spending a whole bunch more. But actually earlier in the month, let's see, it was not those products. It was different sets of products. There's some of them maybe in there. Linen, Rochelle, Linen. Let's see. Yeah, these are different. And these products are also um, on pre-order. And so, uh, so far as I can tell from the ad labeling. And so if you look, there's all these products. And so what you're actually asking Meta to do here is um, across all of these different products, you're asking Meta to predict a, with reasonable accuracy a conversion rate. Um, and, and really each of these products is like its own ad in its own lander right? Because it's a different product along the way, different price points for all of these products, right? I'm, I'm assuming that crop tanks and mini skirts and dresses all have different product point, uh, have different, uh, 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 holy cow, price points. Uh, and so, so what I think is basically happening here is that you're actually asking Meta to do something kind of impossible. And if the product set is changing all the time, then it's um, going to be especially impossible. Normally when you're running caps, right, you're running at the ad set level with a set of ads where you're getting consistent outcomes over and over and over again. But here, it's just really, really different. You're actually, there's, there's all of these variables going on. And so by nature, by definition, the probabilistic forecasting mechanism is going to create, it's gonna have wider error bars because way more things to predict in one, one place. And so um, the way I would think about how to solve this problem probably would be to take some of my top products, separate them in a separate ad set and set a cap on those uh, differently. 
or maybe even simpler. Now, this this wouldn't allow you to use shops, but would be maybe to run highest value at uh, bids because then you should get a range where there's a more AOV based kind of thing. Now, in that case, it's still the same problem. You're going to be asking it to predict a lot of different order values over time, so that might actually not work very well. It's probably not what I would do. What I actually would most likely do is just change my cap relative to the actual results I'm getting. So, if you're getting a $75 CAC and you want 60, then for at least a little while, I would, uh, as long as the product set's staying relatively the same, I'd drop it down to 45 or 50 or whatever and see if Meta will get you 60 by doing that. Um, and if you're going to have more consistently the same products in this product set, then then you would expect that maybe um, it would sort of stabilize a little more. You could raise it back up. Um, but yeah, probably the most likely thing here, if you really want control, you really want to create the same financial outcome over and over, would be to take products that you know are going to be in this product set for a really long time, put them in their own ad set, uh, because now you're going to have the same kinds of traffic going to the same kinds of landing page. And in that case, a, pr a predictive model may work better at predicting this. But I think what you're doing here is basically say, uh, uh, saying, predict all these things for us, please. Predict all these things. And uh, and it's just uh, too many things to predict. And uh, and so sort of an impossible task. And so you could sort of manually adjust the cap relative to the outcomes that you're getting and see if that changes things. Again, especially if this product catalog is changing a lot, which is usually the case in apparel brands. So that's my assessment of what's happening and what I would probably do next. Um, I don't think cost caps are broken here. I think it's just uh, the challenge of using the tool for this particular outcome.